there should be someone who is great at many things. My name is Lisa, and I am more than a triple threat. You may have seen me on America's Next Top Model. Yes, or Celebrity Hub. You got addiction full on. But those shows didn't really paint me in the best light. I'm wearing your guys' underwear. She's a sick individual. Girl, She's doing it. You can totally I feel disgusted. Now it's time for you to see the real Lisa D'Amato. I am the strongest person in this whole thing, so no one's going to stop me. I admire you right now because you are giving your all. Being a model has allowed me to work in the wild world of Hollywood, but trust, it's not my only passion. What you gonna do? My music is the true outlet for expressing who I am. Every day, music becomes a bigger part of my career. So far, I've already produced two albums. I'm here to kill it. Ta -ca catastrophe Mosh pit. Hurts a good lately. Like an interesting, tortured Banksy. Even tired banks don't know me. My manager, Brennan, guides my career and is the brute force behind Team Lisa. You are the best. As much as we fight, Boring. I don't know what I'd do without him. Yeah, no. Along with Brennan, my fiance, Adam, helps support my goals. Adam has given me a home in the amazing Hollywood castle and the reason I couldn't be happier in my life. Thank you, honey. Regardless of how great it is living here, we constantly have to concern ourselves with the business of the castle. It is a lot of work. This place is redonk. It's the prime location for a range of things, from reality shows and music videos to photo shoots. Yes. A big fraternity ran out the castle to have some huge rager, tons and tons of alcohol. Aside from using the castle as a means of income, it is also used as a home base for the business of me, Lisa. Here we use this as headquarters for my meetings, music, modeling, and straight mayhem. <laughs> Team Lisa doesn't end with Adam and Brennan. There's also my assistant, Chris. Hi, my name's Chris Bordeaux. He and Brennan, well, they butt heads a lot, but I keep them in check. Then there's Benji, who runs the dungeon. You can always find him walking around shirtless and acting like a damn fool. Ugh, the dude is like a annoying little brother at a slumber party. <laughs> then there's my wing woman, Lily. Don't make me pop it. Lily is definitely the kind of girl you want dancing behind you at a show. When things get crazy, she's got your back. A lady never takes off her heels, but when someone calls me a bitch, there's no more lady. <laughs> and Blanca. Blanca's my bestie from way back. She's been through it all with me. She's seen me grow from the girl I was to the woman I am. No matter what the world throws at me, Team Lisa will prevail. I was born an entertainer, and my name is Lisa. Oh my God, this is so much work. So we have to get the house ready for the charity event on Sunday. Mm -hmm. We have the barbecue Saturday, Saturday. night. And then Saturday the morning, party. we have the uh, garage sale. Are we gonna be able to do all that? Yeah, we, we gotta get my mom out of the house, though. So. It's nonstop. Not only is the castle a business on its own right, but it's also the grounds for my business. And then I'll be wearing the white suit with the top hat. In between doing a rehearsal and writing a song, I have to shoot downstairs and get all the sheets so that I can make the beds and make it ready for the new vacation rental. The castle is a nonstop working business to continue to afford the castle. My father built this house in 1974. I've been living here my whole life. If we're not generating income for the house, I have to sell it. It's something I don't want to do because my dad built it and he put his blood and sweat into this house. In many ways, it's charming, like the way Adam hustles. One moment, somebody's selling like bongs and the next there's like an event for a bunch of like, you know, black strippers or something. And you're like, well, how is this a life? Like, how is this a business? For better or worse, it is a fantasy up here. The way people live is just like, you know, nobody has a real job. Everyone's always barefoot and shirtless. I'm like, we're in a meeting. I'm not even joking, like get everything out for the garage sale because I do not have time to do everything. Like I have to do these other shoots. Hi. Hi. Hey. Uh, oh, look who it is. Why does the outside look like downtown Baghdad? Oh yeah, um, we're having a garage sale. Because we're having the best garage sale in the world. Today? Or well, we're just starting to get it ready. We're gonna do it on Saturday. 
So the same day we're having a listening party and the whole world is descending on us to look at your album. It's supposed to be really hot and cute at this amazing castle. Yeah. With all this junk outside. A garage sale, it's like San Limore, gross. I'm in the process of trying to build Lisa into this person publicly. I need things to be run a certain way and look a certain way and feel a certain way and... I want to have the garage sale just to get rid of all these things that have been eating the house alive. The castle is packed with shit. A lot of shit. It's like ready to burst. Look at this. Wow. Look at all this. This is your mom's shit? Every part of the house. <laughs> what are you doing right away? What are you doing right now? I have now? to shoot for Sydney Shin's jewelry with Mino. I kind of have everyone by the balls a little bit here at the house. I'm often times very surprised at how well she pulls it together, if you will. I just wish that 19 things didn't always have to happen at once over here. Welcome to the circus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hurry up Okay, and what about April? Wasn't there like a huge problem with this? We need to get her out of here. <laughs> yes, it's always very difficult to manage April. My mother is insane. April is great. She just is on vacation constantly, coming to the house and kind of disturbing the usual schedule that goes on. April definitely holds on to things. I feel like she's holding on to her life. My mom is a total hoarder. They can't take my furs. Where'd she go? She's grabbing things back. She's putting them in her room. Let's go get her. If this situation here isn't like Grey Gardens-y, I don't know what else is. Put it down, April. You're selling it. That's my purse. No! She's out there. This is a beaver jacket. You live in Southern California. Oh, I like this one. You look crazy in it. Yeah, that's why. It's You're a like crazy a polar jacket. Bear in it, Mom. She lives in April's world. There's really no reason that she can justify her pointless existence. God, I hope no one can hear this. Leave my jacket's oh. on their mind. Lisa and I kind of have like a uh, brother-sister rivalry. And Benji, where did you put my Guys Gone Wild DVD? You know who I think actually took it? Who? Adam's mom. <laughs> yes. She's going to be so disappointed. It's Gay Guys Drunk in Cancun. He had a Gay Guys Drunk in Cancun DVD. That's even bad taste for a gay guy. Benji's crazy. He lives down in the dungeon in the basement, and him and Lisa have this weird competitive thing where they're always going back and forth and back and forth. He's the one that usually always has his shirt off. I'm not even sure if Benji owns a shirt. This is the hair shirt right here. I made this myself. You know, he loves to joke. He loves to prank. Benji's just one of those people you never know what he's going to do. He's half man, half bear, half pig. Oh, I'm man bear pig. I don't know why, but like, he's, I guess, like the, the lady killer, you know? All the girls think that he's he's super cute. I wouldn't call myself a ladies' man. A ladies' man. Oh, you look great. You want me to load it in your car for sure. you, too? Sure, thank you. Do you want me to come home with you? <laughs> yes, please. I guess I got good luck with girls. Of course he picks up a chick at the garage sale. Bye, Benji. He's such a freak that like, him driving off in some with some girl as a bear man pig in like, a fucking Easter egg looking car does not surprise me whatsoever. Oh God. Brennan, he lives literally across the street from us. Like I could throw eggs at his windows if I'm mad at him. <laughs> this has all gotta be gone. Do you know what I mean? Like this has to be clear, obviously, before this 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 listening party, you know what I mean? Yeah, we can yeah. use your help. We, we have all these hands. Like, floaties that need to get blown up, so I was thinking you too, Capel. I mean, like tons of them, and you know, a ton you think of people. I'm gonna blow up floaties? People either love Brennan or they hate him. So that's the bottom line. We're having like some music people come over, some executives, just people who are about our world and trying to build Lisa up. And you know, I just need people to like put a little bit of clothes on, set a drink down, and just all you gotta do is throw some towels and blow up some balloons. Jesus. Brennan cracking the whip is basically like your little brother telling you what to do. Adam! Adam! Where's Benji? What the fuck? What are you doing? You just don't want to listen to him. He's an interesting character. He talks a lot like he's done a lot, but I don't even know what he's done. You know, I've been doing this dance for almost 10 years now. Like, I just, I've seen a lot of people. My job is to go through and literally size people up. That's what I do. Um, he's interesting. Brennan is nuts. 
To be my manager, you have to be a three ring circus wrangler. You have to be loud. You have to be able to take control. Let's have the towels um, not on the chairs like that, though. Yes, Brennan. Thanks, Brennan. All right, Brennan. Someone's got to guide this burning ship of crazy people, you know, to the to land. I don't really know what to say about Brennan. Like, look at this shit. This looks like dirty laundry. This looks like dirty laundry. Just this saying. stuff is vintage couture. It's it's the shit. It's the jam. Are you kidding me? It looks like a, a bikini that someone found at like Spearmint Rhino, covered in like Pepsi. You are such a fucking jerk, Brennan. <laughs> this is really cute. It's very untamed. See, I started modeling when I was 11, 12 years old. Modeling was never number one. It was just a really great outlet that I'd be able to start with, and then somehow find my way in the performing arts. She's got a personality that you kind of like fall in love with. And that's why I'm so happy to be a part of it. Like I'm not dealing with somebody that's just fake and just being made up. This is all her, this is all her vision. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I thought so, that's right. Well, shoot me now. Come on, you look bigger and badder than life itself. I think the biggest misconception about me is probably that I'm this party girl. There we go. Lisa is just a hardworking girl. She's a hustler. Yeah, that's good. It's perfect. It looks awesome. I am a dedicated, hard-working woman. In your birdcage. And I put my love and heart into everything that I do. Right there, yeah, yeah. Hold those glasses up a little bit higher. Oh. Lisa's always working. She writes all her own music. Everything is Lisa. Thank that's you. it, Thank, Thank you, Thank you so Dino. Much. Everybody, Dino. Because she comes from a challenging childhood of having to prove herself, she feels like everyone is out to get her in many ways, you know? My childhood life was definitely traumatic. I'm totally polar opposite of what it is now. It was really hard for her growing up, just, you know, with her mom and stuff. Hey. Yay, you made it! So in junior high, I met Blanca. She was leaving the lunch line, and I asked her for change, just like I asked everyone for change. And um, she couldn't believe it. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I'm asking for change. And I was like, I'll show you a cartwheel. I used to do that. If people didn't want to give me any change, I'd show them like an aerial or a back handspring or something, which is super dumb. But that way I thought I was earning it. From that point on, she gave me half of her lunch money every day. Lisa was like having another sister. Blanca really, really helped me escape all the physical, mental, and sexual abuse that that house was filled with. As much as I'd love to have um, a mom in my life, she just can't because she's, um, she's too hurtful. Finding someone like Av Adam was um, heaven sent. Adam's absolutely amazing and you're, you're right on from the very beginning. I want her to have a normal family and you know, I want her to be an amazing mother. Some, you know, mother she didn't have. This is definitely the guy that she was meant to be with. Adam takes care of Lisa in a way that she needs. I keep her grounded. And she takes care of him in a way that he needs. 100% opposite. He's shy. He's the sweetest guy in the whole entire world. She is the most outgoing person I've ever met. Just full of life and just smiling on her face every day. Extremely happy. <laughs> I can hula hoop on my knees, bitches. I will be rising from the all right, you guys, I just want to thank you all for coming from the bottom of my heart. It's been like the longest process ever. So I'm releasing my album, Flipping the Bird, and it's a positive thing. It's, it's like a, a fuck you to just things being too hard sometimes and being a good person and trying to stay true to yourself. Let's start this party! Look, look, look at that. with a chiropractor at. We are for sure a extended dysfunctional family. My affections for this clan, if you will, oftentimes get misinterpreted as elitism or arrogance or whatever. Look, I love each and every one of them. When you throw between five and eight people in a house, no matter how big it is, even if it's a castle, there's gonna be drama. It's just sitting there. So annoying. So annoying. And there's gonna be animosity, and there's gonna be anger, and there's gonna be fun, and there's gonna be crazy. Gay, straight, lesbian, white, black, orange, like, it's it's like, it's okay here. We all love each other the same way a real family loves each other. 
but we also can't stand each other the same way a family can't stand each other. <laughs> sure, on the outside it's this giant castle, but the inside it's a home. Being the queen of the castle has some huge shoes to fill. Luckily, I'm a size 10. This has been a public service announcement brought to you by Lisa D'Amato. Have a nice day. Oh.